really sped up with me being able to gather 50 and do 50 all at one time. So it's been good. Cranking out a lot more clues. Plus, somewhere from 125 to 150 clues is a good, you know, a good number for a 10 minute vid. So works out well. I clicked on a penguin in the haunted woods and he gave me an easy casket. I am not sure that has to be a new thing. It's the first time I've seen it. It's like, you know, a KGB agent, and it's not KGB, you know, but it's uh, the, the penguins that be all shifty and stuff. What is that? Black bolts? Can I just throw this away? I have a reroll. Yuck. All right. Well, let's open up these. It was, yeah, it was, it was interesting. I was doing the Panic in the Haunted Woods step, and I just look over, and there's a penguin that's not like he's not hiding because it's not part of the D&D. &D. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, distraction and diversion penguin thing. It was like an actual penguin, not in a bush or in a rock. And I just clicked on him, and he gave me an easy casket. So... Let us see how many masters we can get. I am coming up on 50, um, and I'll do them when they get near there, just in case I get bored and decide to, decide to switch to Slayer and could have rolled a master, but don't because I was on 50 master clues. So I'll crank those out. I really hate doing elites, but once I get close to 50, I'll probably spend all of my clue treasure trail points on elites and crank out all of those. Yeah, because I don't have um, the plugin. I forgot what it's called. Helps you on your clues. Alt 1. I don't have Alt 1 because I'm on a Mac. So, elite clues are whack but we've had a lot of you know I guess it's just because of the forts yeah I honestly wish the old I miss the old pricings the forts weren't worth as much but seeing something like a three mil clue was uh, you know it almost fe felt like you were getting a unique drop and you don't get that anymore There we go, can't roll that, or that. Two masters, three masters back to back. Wow. What is it, a one in eight chance for hearts to get a master? So you know, it's not crazy RNG, but that's still. So you have one over eight times one over eight times one over eight. So eight times eight is 64, and 64 times eight. Um, I think those are the odds of getting them back to back to back. It's been quite a while since AP statistics. But <clears throat> honestly, like I've gotten all the drops from oh yeah, that's right. So now I'm going for the log. Uh or the title. Yeah, I guess the log and the title. Um are one and the same. I need a, a specific piece of gilded. And I think it's one of the legs, maybe. But yeah, as soon as I get that piece, then I have the title for hard clues. Not the golden title, of course, because that I can't. I mean, I'm surprised anyone has that. Somebody, I know, I check the wiki and somebody does have the golden title for hard clues. But like, how many clues does it take to get every piece of third age? You know? That's pretty insane. So I'll just get the regular 
Um, I think it's a double agent title. Um, so I need that last piece of gilded. If I read the wiki correctly, it said I needed one cape slot item. And I got the backstab cape. So I don't think I need the effigies, cape of effigies, or, or sack of effigies, or the explosive barrel. Um, and I've already gotten one piece of third age and both dies. So yeah, I'm pretty sure I just need that last piece of gilded. And that would be sweet. I'll definitely just use that title from now on. Because it's a, you know, as far as titles go, it's pretty rare. I'd say if I spent the same amount of time that I have on clues doing Telos, I'd have one of the higher warden titles. So it's just about how much, uh, it's just about how much, um, you know, time you spend on any one thing. Honestly, like some PVM, some bosses are really interesting and some of them are, oh, wow, nice. Barrows die. And a <laughs> hard token. It's actually uh, pretty cool. Wow. I wish I was more excited. <laughs> that's, that's. Thanks, thanks. Well, at least Make was here. It's always cool. I watch Make Roo's streams, and it's always cool to see him uh, engage with the clan, you know? Let's see if we can get something else. Yeah, that is kind of whack that uh, uh, it, it has dropped a lot. I mean, not, you know, as far as the price goes, in a percentage-wise. The Barrow's Die has dropped a lot. Um, even if it may have been 30 mil, that's still a decent chunk uh, percentage-wise. So, but, you know, I've got the Black Santa. Uh, I don't know. I, it's hard to put things in perspective on RuneScape, honestly, because, I, you know, I got that Blood Die, and that was... Let's see, 2.8 bill, this is, we'll say 1.5, or uh, 50, 150 mil. So, that's six barrows per bill, that's 12 barrows, that's eight, eight, roughly 18 barrows dies in one blood die. So, you know. Can't, can't really get too hype about a Barrows anymore once you've hit a Blood Die. <clears throat> but there's a chance we get a double broadcast, and that's always a good, fun thing for the clan. Even if it's like a... I've only gotten one Backstab Cape, which is actually, I would say, good RNG. Because for some reason, based on the price, I think the Backstab Cape is an easier role or equal role to blood uh, to a poop die, Barrow's die? I'm not sure. I honestly haven't studied the wiki on drops for any of these things, but I just go off of GE price and, you know, backstab capes like a mil and a half. So, can't be that, um, can't be that rare. Or maybe it's just because there's no use for it. That might be it. It could be just as rare, but there's no use for it. But for instance, if the bear, if the backstab cape and the barrows die were equal in their R in their um, RNG, then then I would have insane RNG because I've only gotten one um, backstab cape. I've gotten quite a few barrows dies. Thirty-five clues left. And 47 masters, so yeah, I'm going to be doing those next, probably. Masters are always fun. Coming up on full 50 masters. That's 
Uh, I got that blood dye from a master clue casket. So let's see. I don't do, yeah, that's what the only downside I think to hearts is like, you're always going to be stuck in the same set of drops. Um, because the master drop rate is so much less than elite clues. For instance, I actually, yeah, what I think I'm going to do is cash in on elite clues and do those. That'll take a day, maybe two days. Just because how slow I am at doing them. And then you're, I'm going to get a bunch of master clues from those, uh, you know, however many I get to do. Then I'll have the elites and the masters, and we can have a high tier or, you know, elite master casket opening. As I'm saying it, I'm like, ah, I don't want to do elites. I would so much rather. Gratz OMG? What happened? Gratz? Holy shit, Gratz. Wait. Oh, Virtus Wand. Nice. All right, coming up on the last eight. If there's any chance to get a double broadcast, we got to close it. But we've gotten a lot of good money. I don't know at what point I'm just going to quit alking. I mean, I'm going to quit uh, disassembling all of my fortunate components directly after each opening and just let them stockpile up. Because I know Makeru just stockpiled his uh, fortunates. And honestly, it, it saved me 30 minutes of having to manage my bank after every opening. Also, look at this spot. This is a cool spot. There's a balcony on Manor Farm. You can look over everything. Honestly, I wish you could like put you know little flowers in these boxes. Or like, I don't know. I haven't really fleshed out the construction side of uh, RuneScape, all the things you can do with your player own house. But, alright, cool. Lots of good money. I'll elk these and do those elites and masters and get back to you.